hi welcome back to my channel so today we are doing the degrassi guys from season one and there are five of them um so i don't slash i'm not as good at doing the guys i don't like them as much they're just one there's not as much custom content for them and two i can never find guy jeans that i like like and the ones in games just I only ever use the same pair of male jeans. So um plus there's not like a face mold that I'm in love with that I use every single time. So it's just a lot of things. A lot of things. But because um one of the series that I am starting next week, stay tuned for that is i am going to be creating the degrassi families from my fan fiction um so i'm going to create or or i already have them created by then or at least the first um it's going to be the guy and the girl the mom and the dad and then i'm going to create their children based on each um series so i'm going to start with um the degrassi reunion movie and then i'm going to do them based on um um the tv series the actual season and then i'm also gonna build their house which i don't normally build so we will see how that works um but there is one family that's actually going to be in two movies and they actually have their kids are different ages in those two movies and that is owen and anya who i did pair together because i wanted to include anya because i do like anya and i was including tristan so i was including owen and i i did like owen and anya together and the reason they broke up was because anya got addicted to drugs um so i did pair them together and because anya and owen are um anya is a year older than owen she graduated in season 11 and he graduated in season 12 so yes they are a year apart, um, but the way I have this the, the uh, movies set up is that uh, Anya is 27 during her reunion, and then Owen is 28 during his, or Anya is 27 during hers, and then Owen is 28 during his I believe I think that's how I did it because yeah so Anya's 27 they're hers and then she'll be 28 but he'll be 27 and then he'll be 27 and he'll be 28 in his and she'll be 29 it's all very confusing but anyway they're going to be in two movies so So one thing I do want to mention, though, is that I have put all of the Degrassi girls, they're all uploaded to the gallery, but I think I'm actually going to take them off for, like, a super quick second, so, like, you probably won't even notice, but I never put anything in the description, so I need to do that. Um, but, but starting with Jimmy Brooks, who is played by Aubrey Graham, and we and you guys may know him as Drake, the rapper superstar. But yes, the Drake was on Degrassi, and his real name is Aubrey. His middle name is Drake. That's how we got Drake from. So, just so you guys know. Okay. So, again, I'm doing them based on season one, since these are the guys from season one. Um... And so Jimmy Brooks didn't end up into the wheelchair until season four. So actually, in one of Drake's songs, he does say, I started from the bottom, now I'm here. And if you go and watch his music video for his um, um, song, I'm Upset, that is a video where it's all of his former Degrassi co-stars. So if you know Drake but you never see Degrassi, that's who the people in the video are. Um, and some of them actually went on to be pretty famous. Some of them in the video are actually famous now. Like, Nina Dobrev is in the video, who 
uh, left a guy to be in the Vampire Diaries. Uh, Shin, uh, uh, Shanae Grimes, who wasn't in the video, but she um, left a guy to be in 90210. Um, you have Cassie Steele, who was in the LA Complex, which I think is a little bit more well known than Degrassi. She was also married to the guy who played Andy Mac's father in Andy Mac, but they're now divorced. Sad. Um, that's really it in season one. But so I gave him the bodybuilder. This sim wants to work out and become as strong as possible. High metabolism. It is easier to stay fit and trim when you have high metabolism. 40, these things are great at sports and build physical skills fast. They become energized when they are doing sport activities. And active. These sims tend to be energized, can pump up other sims, and may become upset if they don't exercise for a period of time. Now, because season one was 2000, um, a lot of their styles is very 90s. Um, which we dig. We dig. So I just have to find a picture of him. So he actually, so as the show went on, he had kind of had like a shaved head. But in season one, he had an afro. I tried to do that. So for all the girls, I um, gave them all the same face. Um, but I don't really have a guy face, but I love it. Um, oh, you know what the issue is? Oh, I need to update. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, I didn't update my, um, more columns mod. Okay. I am back. I updated it. So yes. It's now good. You. So I think I'll use this for Um. Yeah. Brown eyes, black hair. Oh no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to take there. <clears throat> and his uh his style's kind of you know laid back, comfortable. He plays basketball. But hopefully, I can find some hair. Like I have some nice like dreads for him, but I don't think I have an afro. Probably invest in one. I have girls afros, but I don't think I have a guy afro. And I'd rather not use the max. <clears throat> I'll try to make it do. I also, though, don't have, like, a shaved head option for when he does shave his head. So, the good thing is, is that the max of shaved head, I'm fine with using.
Alright, let's see what they have for hair. In Maxis. There is one that they just re-updated. Mm. But like, see, the shaved head looks fine, and I'll be okay using that. So that's not a problem. I think that's the one they did, isn't it? That's his hair, just a little smaller. Why is it square? That's not very good. Also, that's an in game hair, but that's a female hair. I don't know why it's in the male section. So I'm just going to have to uh, make do. Find something. That will, I might just give him the braids. So at least it keeps with the same texture. Yeah, I'll just give him the braids. Marco had braids at one point, though. But. It's fine. Actually, no. I'm going to give him this there. Because I can't spend ages on his hair. Which I will be doing. That's okay. Um, and yeah, he just kind of would just wear his like t shirt. Maybe a sweatshirt. Yeah, that looks okay. And then we'll give him some jeans. And because it was the um, early 2000s, I'm going to give him the jeans they used to always use because they look the most like jeans you would probably wear in that time period, at least. And then we'll just give him some, you know, Converse or something. Sock first. And okay, there is. Oh, I gotta change the skin tone. Okay, there is. No, he's not that dark. Okay, there's Jimmy. Sort of. Uh, his is mine. I, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. So next is Spinner Mason. So, Gavin Spinner Mason, played by Shane Kippel, a poor athlete and bully. 
and we can actually get a picture from some season and then Oh, oops. Okay. So make a team. And mail. And hmm. I don't know what to make him. Maybe he just wants. Well, he always struggled with not having money, so maybe he wants to be rich. Um. Now he has ADHD, which I used to have that as a custom trait. I don't believe I have it anymore. Hmm. So I'm actually gonna give him this. Very similar, I think. Hmm. What else to give him? Yeah, okay. So, fabulously wealthy. This sim wants to get rich and have a successful career. Business savvy sims earn more than the standard rate for careers. Perpetual motion means he's always want to be moving. That has to do with his ADHD. And foodie, these sims become happy and have fun when eating good food, become uncomfortable when eating bad food, and can watch cooking shows for ideas. And I gave him that because in season one, um, he was bigger than the rest of the show. Um, and that was actually the actor, and I believe they asked him, or he did it himself, and he lost, like, a whole bunch of weight and, like, gained a bit of muscle. So... So let's create Spinner. And he actually has spiky hair. Season one. And he has brown hair and brown eyes. Very nice, but I would say he has like blonde hair. I thought he did. So not. Um. Mm. Oh, messy with spiky mess. Okay. So in season one, he had brown hair. Probably good. And it was spiky. In season one. Which I don't think I have. I'm just doing great. Actually, oh, wait, no, this. This will look a little different. That actually might be a little better because it's just mostly his forehead. But I don't think I have anything else close to spiky. So we're probably just going to have to make do with that. See, I just have so much more girl hair. That it's easier to create these sims. But I think that's good. And...
Sorry, I'm just feeding. Okay, so it doesn't seem like he had piercings in season one. I don't think he did. I think he got piercings later on in the show. But I'm just going to make him like that. Oh, I forgot to change his skin tone. He's pretty pale. No, not that pale. Yeah, probably that. So. He just wore t-shirts and cargo pants, really. Like baggy clothes is what he wore. I don't think we actually have cargo pants. <laughs> I mean, I can try to find some. They were longer. Oh. Um. I guess that works. And then he just, you know, wore sneakers. So we get him some socks. And then some sneakers. And I did download some custom sneakers for girls, but I hope also work with guys. I think this is them. Yep. Something black. Yeah, they, they look a little weird, but that's really what he wears. I mean, I'm actually Maybe I'll give him some of these, even though he probably couldn't afford them, but maybe he got them at, like, an auction. Super cheap. Uh, so I'm going to make them a little bigger. I don't like the way that is. I guess that's fine. So next is Sean Cameron, and we're going to meet Sean. Um, technically, we meet him as a... 7th grader, but he's the age of an 8th grader, but he doesn't look like he belongs in these years. But, I got Sean. Um, we can get his style. Uh, in season 1, he was rarely seen without a signature blue denim jacket. So. But, make him a teen. And a boy. Um... You know, I don't know what Sean wants to do. He wants to, I think he just wants a family, really. So he just, he wants a successful lineage. And then, he's kind of moody. Looks a little gloomy. But he's handy. So successful lineage, if he wants to have a family that succeeds in life, the message is to see the familiar relationship is stronger, faster, gloomy, these sims tend to be sad, to share melancholy thoughts to other sims, and while sad, gain a boost to the creative skill. Handy, these sims are equipped with a hammer and a wrench. They are excellent for updating and repairing objects and benefit from a greater gain from handiness, skill, and rocket science. The handy sims also benefit from a career boost in the astronaut career. They are happy when they are repairing things and when they reach Mastery in the hand in the skill, they feel more focused from time to time. Eh, it's better, Sean. He was good at repairing, like, cars and stuff, so. So, his hair was often gelled. Before I go to his style, so he has blue eyes and light brown hair. He was adorable in season one. Um. 
I don't think I have a denim jacket for that. Oh. Uh, real quick, go and fix this. everything. There's a light brown hair, it said. Oh my god, stop doing that. I just want to pull it up, pull those down. I also never gave any of them eyelashes, so I will go back and do that at the end. I'll give Tom some now, though. See, I'm just not as in love with the dyes as I am with being the girls. No? Okay. So we'll give him some hair. Okay, he has the, oh, uh, he has blue eyes. Um, the I don't know what I was doing. Hair much better. Okay. So his hair was often gelled and he paired his jacket with simple t shirts. He also had braces, which I can't remember if I gave Emma braces, but she had the lenses in them as well. Um, I think this is actually probably, yeah, that's better as his hair. And he has light brown, a little darker. I guess that's fine. I mean, that's what I'm going to fix then. Okay, that looks looks good. And I think he had his ear pierced, if I'm not mistaken. But he also had braces, so I am gonna get some braces. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think he had a piercing, so I'm going to give him a piercing. He just had a little hoop. I'm not a hoop, a little stud. Probably the best. Because I think if I do this, it gives it to them both. Yep. <laughs> this is dark blonde hair, but it's. Uh, I think that looks good. That looks like a piercing. It's actually I'm going to take off because it looks cute. He doesn't have a piercing. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see where he's gone. Let me just see where he goes. Weird. He was gone. He was in season four, but then he left and he was not in season five. And when he came back in season six, he was very muscular. But I don't believe I have a denim jacket for guys. I wish I did. I might have to give him I think 
and I'm gonna give him the in game one. Which I mean, not that one. It's fine because I believe it comes with a white shirt under it anyway. Find it. Oh, there it is. So yeah, there's his denim jacket with his white shirt. And jeans and sneakers. So jeans. And then we'll just give him some some fiber. And there's Sean Cameron. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the other two fast because I'm probably been recording for so long. I know I have. So next is Toby Isaacs. Oh, and I never said Sean. So Sean Cameron played by Daniel Clark, a poor kid with anger problems. Toby Isaacs, played by Jake Goldsby, a easygoing computer geek. So. Um, okay. Yeah, we're doing this guy. He's pretty clever. I mean, he's not smart, he's just clever. And let's get some geek. Or I think there's a nerd one actually. Might be a little better. Nerdy. Uh, actually, geek would be better. Okay. The computer was. This one wants to know everything about computers and playing games for three years. Quick learners build all skills a little bit faster. These sims, clever. These sims are fast learners and they build mental, creative, and social skills slightly faster. Geek. These sims become happy when reading sci-fi or playing video games. They become tense if they haven't played much. I better find a collectible and discuss geek things with other geek sims. Uh, no. okay. He wore his hair, actually the hair I gave. Okay, so I'm actually going to give, um, give me a different hair because that's actually the hair Toby had. So maybe this, because it kind of looks like the afro at the top. So it's fine. Right there. And then we just give him his glasses. Actually, he doesn't seem for some reason. 
to wear, but we'll give them anyway. Okay, he has his red glasses. But, uh, that's close enough. Okay. So, he again just kind of, he wears like t shirts with like a t shirt over it, jeans and sneakers. It's really, it was the style, you know, back in the day. And actually, there should be a shirt like that. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And I'll give him those. And there's Toby Essex. The last character that we're going to do today is J.T. York. So J.T. York is played by Ryan Cooley, an easygoing and laid-back class clown. Now, table and clown hair. Um, I'm gonna make him actually a joke star because he is a class clown. He's a goofball. And I'm gonna make him childish. Kind of it. Where is childish? I know there's a childish one, and I know teens can have it. I could give him silly, but then he'll be silly and a goofball. Not in hobby, it would be an emotional one, or no, it would be in social. Okay, I would give him the childish trait, but I just cannot see it, so I'm gonna give him silly. So, jokes are this time wants to tell jokes and become a famous comedian. Gregarious sense build friendly relationships faster. Goofball, these sims tend to be playful. Silly, these sims are, are full as they are easily tricked by their levels. lovers. They get dazed around their loved ones. Okay. And I had trouble with the hazel eyes before. I think I just decided on the brown on the hazel. Okay. So in season one, he had short, spiky hair. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, I didn't change it. There. Yep. Uh, now, it says that he wore a backwards hat, but I don't think I can do that, can I? I guess I can. No, backwards cat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really say much about his style, but he, you know, just wore t-shirts, you know, kind of like this. And just some jeans. Socks and there's JT York. So, this was a little bit of a longer video, and I'm sorry I wasn't talking as much, but. I'm just not into doing the guys, I'm just the girls, but I'm just doing it so I could show it to you guys. I also don't like how I'm dressing them as much, because they're all getting the same outfits, and it's just not good, and I just realized that I forgot to put eyelashes in all of them. So I'm going to make a note for myself, as I drop my pencil. But I'm going to make a note, you guys are my witness, it's going to say, season one, guys, eyelashes. Now I just saved them to my um my gallery right now and then by the time you guys see this video they will be uploaded so I will have added eyelashes for them. So the next Degrassi video we do will actually not be until next week. So I have a whole bunch of other videos that I'm doing this week. Um so the next Degrassi Guys video will be season 2 and 3 because they only have one guy each. So it will be a lot shorter of a video. Season 2 added Craig Manning. And then season 3 added, I believe, Marco Del Rossi. That. Yes. So Craig and Marco will be the next two guys that we do. Um, so anyway, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.